Alright guys, so I bought this wall mounted electric fireplace. I think it's gonna look really good here in my new office. So in between both of those sockets there, I'll just place it there and I'll have a nice TV above it. Now this is a very unique design. I'm gonna be connecting the base here to the glass panel where you'll have the different colored options for the fireplace. Now this one has an option for no heating so you can have it on as a display or you can have different levels of heating that come underneath it, not above it. It's recommended not to have any plug sockets underneath it. Obviously you don't want to heat that up and you should have it at least 20 centimeters away from the floor and not close to any other fabric furniture like sofas or anything like that. So I'm pretty excited to set this up. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to be connecting the base. There's one wire you can see that I just need to connect to the back of the unit. It's already pre-assembled. I just need to take off the bracket here with two screws on each side and this long bracket will then need to be drilled into the wall so you can just pretty much slot it into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It comes with all of the different marbles, the pebbles, the rocks, the logs, everything that will look really good, which I will place on the outside. So let's go ahead and set this up and see how it looks. Right, so underneath the top part of the fireplace, you've got the reset hole there where you can stick a pin in to reset the flame if it doesn't work for any reason. Then you've got four buttons, turn the lights on and off, the flame, the fuel bed, and the mood lighting. And this is the power switch to turn the actual fireplace on and off. So now I'm going to be connecting this by putting the bracket that's on the back of this fireplace drilled into the wall, and then we're going to hang it up. So at the bottom of the fireplace, where the cord for the power plug is, you'll see there's a little cover here. Once you've mounted this on the wall, unscrew this cover, and you'll have a little cable and attachment that comes out. This is the lead that you'll need to connect to the bottom part of the fireplace that will turn the LED lights on. So this will happen only after you put this onto the wall. So now that I've got it mounted onto the wall, I've just got the last pieces of the puzzle missing. So I've got the base that I need to connect with the LED light connector, and then I've got the top part that I just need to clip into place as well. Once I've done that, I'm going to start putting in all of the pebbles and the logs and then start to light it up and see how it looks. So what I need to do here is just get in underneath, unscrew, there's a little cabinet there for the wire, connect the bottom part, and the rest should be straightforward to go. Okay, so now one of my favorite parts, to put in the pebbles and the rocks. So I'm just gonna place them on top, position them, and it's gonna look pretty cool. Take a look at some of these. I really like this shiny crystal rock. That's really gonna make it sparkle. So let's quickly look at the remote control before we turn this on. So on the remote control, you have the power button, you have the mode button here, so you can change this if you wanted to schedule the heating to turn on. You also have the flame that is on the main glass panel just back there. This one is to have the heating on or heating off, so you can actually just have it displaying as a kind of light show without any heating. Then have the base light button, the mood light button, which is underneath the log fire there, the left and right arrows, which changes the different modes and colors, and the plus and minus buttons that changes the options of the intensity, the brightness, and any other options that's relevant for that. You've got the scheduling button and an enter button as well to select a certain menu. So let's go ahead and turn this on. There you go. So there's three lights. There's the flame, the base, and the mood light, which is in blue. So let's start off with the flame. Press the flame button. You'll see, I'll press the buttons and I can cycle through three different color of flames. I wish that there was more than just three, but so far, these are the ones you have to live with. 
Let's switch over to the base button. And here you can see there's 14 different options. So plenty of base colors. Right there underneath the logs and pebbles, loads of different colors. And then finally, you have the mood lighting button. And here you can cycle through 14 different colors. So you can also change the brightness, plus and minus. If you go down, if I go all the way down, then it turns off. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this when the lights are off. So that's it guys, let me know what you guys think. If this is a really cool electric fireplace, then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. I'm gonna be doing a lot of nice home gadgets like this. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is going to be my new backdrop for my new studio here when I'm recording YouTube videos. And when I start recording videos with this backdrop, I'll also have a brand new channel intro with some new channel art, and it's gonna be a complete revamp of my studio. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.